When the pandemic started, clearly we were challenged on many, many fronts and we had a whole range of different things to deal with in the crisis. One of the absolutely critical things that everybody will be aware of, because it's just had so much coverage in the newspapers, the media generally, is PPE and the shortage of PPE. And we recognised very quickly that we were going to have a lack of PPE and we didn't want that to happen. Plus there was all the media hype. Um, so Claire came up with an idea to put in a pair of gloves, a mask, an apron, a clinical waste bag, fold it up and put it in this sample bag and give that to staff. So we sent a request out saying your resilience team needs you to help start packing. In packing, we were using CLCH staff who were great at, uh, at packing, but they were sacrificing some of their working day to come and pack. And so we reached out to the volunteers to help us pack. Just the size of the task suddenly became apparent and the enormity of having to produce the volumes of packs that we needed and we just didn't have the space to do it in safely. We came up with the idea of using the church on the other side of Parsons Green, uh, got hold of the vicar, asked him if we could turn his... Uh, originally I was thinking of the church hall and turn it into a packing station but he was very kind and offered us the whole church. One day, Martin, and I think it was Charlie as well, came over with slightly worried looks on their faces, uh, going, is there any way we could borrow your space here? It was in the, in the sort of first few weeks of sort of crisis mode, and we have going, whatever we can do to help. At the beginning, it was tricky to match a supply with demand. I still remember when I met for the first time the resilience team, and they said that the daily output should be around 3,000. And I knew that on that day, we produce 800 packs. So I knew I have to set up the process very quickly and I have to get all the numbers right within one week. Each couple of volunteers was managing and owning the whole process from the very beginning to the very end. So whatever will happen in terms of the infection, I was able to say only two people were touching your apron, your waist bag, your face mask. And I think that was a very big difference. So as I mentioned at the beginning, 800 packs per day. We had a few days that we produced 5,700, 5,300, and that was all thanks to the consistent process and commitment of the volunteers. I was managing a cocktail bar. I saw uh, some posters that they had up in the window asking for volunteers in the local area to come and package and distribute and things like that. Um, and I've been doing it for a few months now, um, and yeah, it's going really, really well. I volunteered just because uh, I thought during these times of COVID when we were all locked up in quarantine, it'd be nice to do something to get out and help in any way. I was introduced by through London Rowing Club. I'm a member of Putney Town Rowing Club and Tideway Scholars. And uh, we took the rowing community, everybody then put their name forward, and a lot of the people here are actually rowers uh, from the from the rowing clubs along the tideway. I love the atmosphere. There's usually music playing, so that's really helpful when we work. It you know, brings an energy and a good vibe. Um, we've made loads of friends. You know, there's a wide range of ages here, so it's really interesting to talk to people of different backgrounds and different ages and where they come from and why they're here as well. I got involved in the project very much at the beginning um, when they put a call out and I got a text from a friend saying they needed some help with packing PPE in the offices here. It was before we had the church. So started off in the offices trying to figure out a system to pack the PPE successfully in small offices um, and went from there. It's great to see so many people come out to help every day and just volunteer their time and effort. The best part about the job is the people. You, I think you meet some absolutely amazing people um, and I'll never forget that. So that's, uh, that's meant the world to me, I think. I think one thing that us as an organisation needs to be really proud of is that 99.5% of the time all our clinical teams have had the PPE they need. The really important thing for me is that our, our staff feel confident that they will have regular supplies of PPE and then that's one less thing for them to worry about. It's been thrilling for us to be able to open the door every day and just see members of the community um, we, I think up to 200 volunteers have come and to see this building come alive uh, in a way that has been useful in these extraordinary times. The responsibility has been enormous actually to carry around the most valuable thing in the country which is really what it was. It was like in the beginning it felt like we were driving gold bars. There are however many thousands if not millions of all of these wonderful people putting their lives on the line. To be able to help and support them in any means is 
the most incredible thing. I would love to say thank you to everyone that has been involved, all the staff, and most particularly those volunteers who have come in day after day, seven days a week, and just produced the most fantastic results. It makes me go goosebumps, actually, it really does. The amount of um, people that have been so delighted to actually help out with us, and, and it's just been absolutely overwhelming. As a nurse, as a project manager, I knew I can make a difference. I can make, you know, I love our nurses, they know that. And... I just wanted to help, so 